so you can see. And so the people behind you can see. So you cannot come right up close. You need to stand back a little so that you can see. This is station one, and there is another station exactly like this over on that table. There are some directions, okay? Brady, would you help me out? Would you read station number one? Ramp it up. Okay, so here's the question that we're trying to answer here. Um, how does the height of a ramp affect the distance a toy car travels when going down the ramp? Okay, so what you're gonna do is follow the directions. You'd have one book flat. You're going to hold the toy car here and just let it, let it go. Hopefully it will roll down the ramp. Okay. Dun, dun. All right. Now you are probably going to have to take this down to the floor, but I'm going to show it to you here so that you can see. And you're going to measure how far it goes. Now you're going to measure in centimeters. Have you ever done that before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're going to look at the centimeter side of the ruler. And in order to get an accurate measure, you're going to put zero at the bottom of the ramp and see how far the car went to the back of the car. Okay? And so how far did it go? Four centimeters. Four centimeters. And then you're going to put another book underneath. And what's that going to do to the ramp? Make it and so you're going to put the car here and you're going to let it go. And that's why you're going to have to do it on the floor. Okay, but I'm going to let you move it down from the table onto the ground. Can we make a big ramp now? Yes. But what so, if it goes too far and we don't have a big enough room? Well, we so what you're going to have to do is add. So how many centimeters are on this whole ruler? Thirty. Thirty. So if then how many would be on this whole ruler? Six. Thirty. Together, right? Thirty and thirty is sixty. And then I can take this ruler and I can add it on. Okay. And then I'll be counting. Does that make sense? Okay. And so you have four books. You're going to do it with one book, then double, and then double. Okay. So you're going to do three stations and you're going to write down how high was the ramp. So you're going to have to measure the height of the ramp. What number has to go on the table on the ruler? Zero. Zero. What are we measuring in? Centimeters. Centimeters. Okay. And how tall are the books? Four. Four. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. All right. So there are going to be two stations. You're going to be in groups, and you're going to do station one, station, and then. So some groups will start at station three, some will start at station one, and then you rotate until you've got to all the stations. Station so number, just the. Oh, sorry. Yep. So these are identical stations, correct? Yep. The with the blue paper. See that, guys? You put the paper back up. Okay. That's and the, the same directions. station over here. Okay? Yep. And so this is station number three. So come, come down here to station number two. All right. Who else likes to read? Do you like to read? I like to, I like to read. Okay, read the title and the question. Station two, guys. the distance that a car is pulled back affects the distance of a car traveling once released? Okay. This is a special kind of car called a pullback car. Have you ever played with yeah, this before? Yeah. So you're going to feel that. I'm going to turn it so that it goes this way, actually. Okay? So you're going to pull it back. You're going to start it at zero. You're going to pull it back to two. And you're going to let it go and see how far it goes. And this is a tape measure. And it has centimeters on one side, inches on the other. Which side are you going to choose? Centimeters. centimeters. You're going to hold it at zero here, and you're going to measure out how far the car goes, okay? Cool. To the back of the car. We're going to use the back of the car, all right? And then you're going to follow the directions. You're going to pull the car back four centimeters and then six centimeters. And each time, you're going to record how far did you pull it back and how far did it travel. Okay. And that's trial one. How many trials are you going to do at each station? Three. 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 Okay. And if something goes really wrong, like the car turns and runs into the wall, that one won't count. You'll have to do it again. Okay? What if it just keeps turning? It, it, you should get some good trials. And the other station for that one is over underneath the purple bullets board. And this 
is station three. Who else likes to read? No? Okay. So what's the question here? There's raisins over there. How does the mass of a ball affect the distance a box travels when struck when struck by the ball? Okay. So um, these balls here, feel those. Can you tell me what the difference is? One feels bumpy and the other doesn't. Okay, that's one difference. One is bumpy, the other isn't. One's heavier, one's lighter. Okay. And that's what we call mass. This one has more mass than the other. What's this ball full of? Has anybody ever looked inside a golf ball? No. no. I have. What's inside? I, I broke one. It's like this weird, like almost rubbery. Goo? Yeah, it's not goo. It's hard. It's very hard. It's, and it's kind of like string all stuck yeah, in there. Yeah, there's, there's, there's layers. There's different layers. There's string. And so golf balls least... are built They're built differently. So there's like almost like a, like a how do you know, like a rubbery, hard rubbery and some strings. Yep. So, so it makes it heavier, but it also means there's a lot less air yeah. because there's other stuff in there. So you're going to hold the ball up here. This box has to be right next to, and you're going to roll the ball down, and it's going to knock the box. Got it. And then... You're going to measure, putting zero here, and you're gonna measure out. Now, that kind of worked out perfectly. How far did that box move? 30 centimeters. 30 centimeters. Then you're gonna put the box back. You're gonna roll the light ball, the, the less mass ball, boom, and you're gonna measure how far did it go? Cool. Four, Four centimeters. Four. So that's one trial, okay? So. Ball number one is, you have to do the same one each time. So we're gonna say ball number one is more mass, okay? And, oh, that is really strange. They didn't set this up properly. Uh, so we're gonna do ball one, ball two,